What is good, everybody? It is your boner off play K Clutch K 2470. We are here giving you guys kind of a different tip video, but it's definitely going to help you guys out to learn how to have better pocket in Madden 24 and with Madden's here to come. Now, one thing that I would like to share with you guys that uh, this is a very, very big tip to help you guys be better at the game of Madden because it definitely helps you not get so many sacks so many inaccurate throws for you to get that ball right there on the money and it doesn't matter if it's a quarterback with abilities or without abilities is definitely to help you guys out in every aspect so make sure you guys pay attention do this with any quarterback mobile pocket or literally a balanced quarterback it doesn't really matter today we are going to use ar-15 or anthony richardson because this is for a cfm that um joined to see how it will be to have the rookies as the uh, the colts but um we are just going to go inside of a random playbook and this is going to uh help you guys out i mean not a random playbook a random play to help you guys out with your pocket presses now it's three things you guys need to help you guys out with pocket presses and number one is what i'm about to show you with this right here so let's just say we come out and let's just say we come out in trips right and we and you have ucpa comebacks right Let's go up against a defense like this and go for quarters, right? The one thing a lot of people know what to do is they like to drop back like this and then they try to throw a pass and you guys see that it's inaccurate, right? Now, the main problem with that is is because whenever a quarterback runs out of the pocket or basically does it like this, not only is it way harder for the quarterback to make the throw, it's going to cause for a lot more inaccurate. Now, the only reason for that to not happen is if you have certain abilities to have like side eye, dead eye, inside dead eye, certain things like that. But even with that, if you are outside of the pocket, those dead eyes won't even matter. So the best thing for you to do to go ahead and make that throw is to stay right here, make that throw. And that one was more inaccurate because it was poor accuracy. I didn't blew that pass. But only reason for that to uh, happen is if you have good pocket just like that, and now you have a more accurate pass just like that so i'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to have pocket just like this you guys can see somebody was getting pressure somebody else was coming through and now i was able to go ahead and make that throw so what you're going to have to do is learn how to look down the field and look in the pocket at the same exact time and what's a good way to practice that well it's already right here in the practice mode but if you play a certain formation let's just say that you're in pistol spread just an example you guys probably mean gun spread a bunch anything like that but if you are in this formation let's just go ahead and do it out of a quick slot out right and you guys want to learn how to be better when it comes to having good pocket coming out here in a cover four quarters the one thing that you're going to do with this is literally nothing the one thing that you want to do to help you guys out with pocket is learn how the abilities or basically learn the um how to d-line sheds and things just like that now another thing that you could do that kind of resembles this is kind of um it's one of the skill trainer modes i'm going to show you guys that it's going to flash up right here um but if you pay attention to that and put it towards this no matter what ability comes out no matter what goes on you can just stay right here realize how the pressure is coming and even if you get sacked like that that is perfectly okay so next time you know when you climb the pocket just like that like right here as soon as you pops up go ahead and hold on to sprint instead of moving over as soon as you hold on to sprint now you can go ahead and roll out and get towards that other side and elevate so right here, just like we did again, now we're gonna hold on to R1. You guys see that gave a few extra yards, a little disconnect. I mean, not disconnect, the disengage got there. But it also teaches you go ahead and slide protect your line over a certain way so you could have more time. And then just like that, go ahead and climb the pocket. Now you got extra yardage for you to go ahead and get there. So no matter what play you're in, this is really not, it really doesn't matter what play that you come out in as long as it's a pass play. It's really just you sitting here just realizing who the uh, offensive line i mean how your offensive line works how the disengages things of that nature happens and really just learning that so you won't get sacked as much or you won't get yourself out of um out of the area for you to go ahead and throw a ball so you can just do this the whole time 
fix this stuff up in the pocket, go ahead and move over. Now you can go ahead and either cut it down the field to go ahead and run the ball, or that gives you more pocket to go ahead and throw the ball down the field. And you can just keep doing this until you kind of understand it. But see, you kind of roll out like this. You want more time, roll out, boom. And you can try and make a pass on any play that you actually ended up picking. Uh, we can actually put R1 out on a route. And you guys can see that right there. That right there is one thing that you can pay attention to when it comes to D-line sheds. Now, one thing that they will do, instead of them coming towards the outside, they will sit here and try to do a swim move on the inside. So when they have that swim move on the inside, your first instinct is to run out to that other side. Because boom, now they got something free over here. Most likely you cannot trust them to actually hold on to him right there. But you kind of kind of have to understand which uh, offensive lineman is not going to hold it to their block. Run out towards the other way. And it kind of will make it harder for the others to sit here and disengage with you. So here, once again, you stay in the pocket. Who's going to get a shed? It's most likely going to be him on number 72. And now, even though he is like one of the fastest human beings in the game, that still is technically um, not a bad rollout, but that's just good. That's just a good shed. You know what I'm saying? That's a good shed right there. Roll out towards that side. See if you can get something extra. If not, you throw it away right there. You do not run and try to outrun them. Because for some reason, a quarterback, when they start running, they lose a lot more stamina than somebody who is just trying to chase you through stamina. So here, once again, anybody's coming through. You try to do the shed again. You guys can see through that. It's much better than how it was last time. You get a nice little play. And they extended the play, just like how the great quarterbacks in the league does. So they just keep doing this, seeing what shed's happening. You see there's a shed back there. And one thing that you can do is actually three things you can do. So when the D-line sheds just like this, boom, you have a choice. One, hit your deep post down there. Two, you run up and you try to get a few yards up there. Hopefully you don't get a fumble, which is kind of risky. Or three, you throw the ball away. Since you're here in the pocket, you throw that away as intentional ground. It's going to be the same thing as a sack. It just won't be credited as a sack towards the defensive player. Um, you can try and roll up just like that, as you guys can see. And in my luck, it gave me one and a half yards. Um, but other times when you stand out of the pocket, I'm going to try and see if I can get it out just like this. Boom. You can go ahead and just step up like that. That's beautiful pocket. One thing to kind of help you guys out with that, though, do not put any receivers on the same side of where you're going to be. So you guys can see how the running back. He basically does a check and release and stops right in front to basically be a check down. You put him out towards a different route. As you guys can see, he goes ahead and follows him. Well, not as much, but look at the. So he basically will go and follow him if he uh, was basically in that zone room. You guys see that little shed right there. You guys can go and move out. As soon as he goes and moves that corner out with his route, then you can go ahead and start moving and things of that nature. But this is like definitely one thing that you can do to help out your pocket, which is just look in towards the, uh, what you call it, look at your pocket and just keep moving around until you get situated with it. And now another thing that you can do, we're just gonna go to a different one to kind of help out with a little bit. Now we're gonna add some edge pressure, right? So this will kind of help you guys out with like, oh, somebody's coming on that edge. Now climb the pocket and make a read now. Boom, made a read. Now I can go ahead and make my pass. I know that the blitz is coming in on that side. I'm just going to try and get great pocket to sit here and not only move out of the pocket or move up in the pocket, but not be scared when pressure is coming in. So once again, I'm standing right here. You guys see that there's going to be edge pressure right there. The best thing that you can do in that is basically just ID the mic right there. ID the mic, come on up. And now you can go ahead and make that throw. If he goes and tackles you right there, then that must just a little bit too late. But that technically does not hurt you. Boom, ID the mic right there. The guard is going to sit there and catch that. Boom. Now you, that's actually a lot better pocket and better blocking to help you guys out. Now, if you want something to come from this when it comes from, uh, what you call it, coming from another person to go out on a route and do something with, there you go. You just realize where the pressure is. Step up in a pocket or step side to side, but never do this. When you see the pressure just like this, you never want to move back. 
because now that gives the defense a whole lot more yards to get for that sack and it leaves you in a much worse space. So now you see that pressure go in. You can kind of move up just like this and not hold on to the sprint. Do not hold on to sprint because with the sprint, which is R2 or RT, if you're playing on a different controller, it definitely brings the disengage a lot more when it comes to uh, what you call it, when it comes to the blocker. Now, sometimes you'll get lucky like this and kind of swerve out of it to try and get extra. Um, but if you guys see the pressure just like this, move up in the pocket because it's, 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 a, it's a little thing I'm going to show you guys right here, right? So if you guys stay in the pocket just like this here, number 56 is never going to get to that corner. That corner that's blitzing in, he's never going to get to him. If you move up in the pocket, so now instead of him going all the way up, he has to cut in his angle pursuit and come in. So now it gives that guard somebody to sit here and protect otherwise than this where if you keep going back he's not going to sit here and pick somebody up he's going to dumb out so once again like i said he comes back you come back you guys see that center he just doesn't do anything he's looking for somebody to block and with the i the iq of the lineman in this game you're going to have to help them out a little bit which means give them a little bit of pocket so boom they looking for it come back up you guys see it they get the different uh blocking adjustment a uh, blocking assignment so now boom help them out right there boom so now you can go ahead and make that throw but you also got to remember that you have to blue pass it yourself to get it accurate or if you guys see that it's going to help you out boom that's what i meant by that rt if you hold on to it they're going to disengage see you wait for them to get into an animation and then you start running or you kind of will run away from that situation like this like if you stay in the pocket you can run away towards that outside and kind of do it just like that but once again instead of complaining that somebody is glitch blitzing you or somebody is just uh causing you a lot of trouble just go ahead and block an extra person you block that extra person now that kind of helps you out when it comes to blocking another person and if they still come in that's just the game being the game so you can slide protect to the right and then block your running back and then go ahead and ID him. So now if you stay here in the pocket, you guys can see that you have a lot more time in the pocket instead of just letting that blitz come in no matter what. Now, another thing that you can do to help out actually will be just a slide left. You slide left, the running back is gonna have to get somebody. If you step up in the pocket long enough, that guard is gonna get to that corner and that will help you out there. Now, another blitz that is very, very good that a lot of people will send at you as we're going to go to a different formation is let's just do tight end attack why not they're going to come out in this dollar fire too now the best thing for you to do to learn how to get inside a uh, how to help up with the pressure is go up against the defense yourself if you need to go ahead and have two controllers set it up in practice mode set up the blitz just like how others online would do set this controller down and then go up against the defense give yourself reps against it if there isn't another person that will actually go up in game to help you out in the game situation go ahead and do this in practice mode it's not going to be the same thing here but boom you realize you can still make something happen with this pressure and you can go ahead and make a play on it so you just keep getting repetitions against this when somebody sits here and close up against it you know exactly what to do now because you've been prepping against us for a while so the three things i think that i covered in it is one uh do not drop all the way back two just make sure you just look at the pocket see how the pressure is coming in and make sure you know how the uh, alignment of the D line is so you see if they can get that shed or not. Now it's completely different if they have pre lids or they have that automatic block shed or things like that, like edge that It's completely different. But if you understand how the sheds are with edge that and things of that nature, you know exactly when to move out and when to do things like that. So now with my target attack, I know that the pressure is down the field. One thing that you can do, kind of, as where that center is, I like to keep my eyes right there or keep my eye to where I know that my route is going to be. So that means I can kind of look at the route and at the offensive line itself. So if I look right here and I try to make a pass, boom, I can go ahead and hit a quick pass so that blitz won't even come in. 
Um, or another thing, if we go to a different play here, uh, step up in the pocket, boom, and just make sure that my blockers is actually getting to who I need to go. I mean, who I, who I need to go to, and I can go ahead and make that read myself. I'm actually going to bring the wide receiver out, I mean, the running back out, so you guys can see what I mean. Boom, just step up in the pocket, and you guys can see you do not have that much time when you do your routes like that. But if you want to get better, and you want to sit here and pick up defenses or learn how to uh, run on these blitzes, make sure you slide protect it on both ways, ID certain guys, and see if it kind of helps you out. As you guys can see, see as easy as that is, all you have to do is slide protect it at one side that isn't protected, and that helps you out. But you also got to realize that that doesn't work every time. You see the running back go ahead and get a block right there, and he ended up getting two blocks. So now that kind of helps you out to roll out to another side. Um, another thing is a lot of people would like to do the rollout. So boom, roll out. And for some reason, that's a catch. That's that's just nasty. But yeah, that's basically what you're going to need to do. You're going to make sure that you understand how the blitzing, I mean, not the blitz, yeah, the blitzing D lineman uh, animations are so you know when to go and when not to know that you got to look down the field as you're in pocket if you realize there's nobody open down the field put your eyes back on the pocket for just a little bit and then go ahead and um make your progression so once again we're gonna actually do this see if the pressure is coming in it actually did so we didn't have that much time uh but if you know you're not gonna have that much time get the ball out as fast as you can all right so boom, the press was right there, boom, move out right there, bang, right there. But you guys know with some blitzes people is gonna be using. So if you guys go ahead and get somebody with that blitz, tell them just keep doing this. And if you get in fact, if you catch a pick on me, punt the ball back. I just mean to keep doing this and then I'll help you out with that as well. So boom, reach on out like this. You guys can see you can go and roll out just like that. You get an extra yard. It's much better than having a sack. But that's pretty much it. It doesn't matter what formation you're in, as long as you know that you're getting reps against certain things and you are basically prepping yourself to be ready for these type of things, it doesn't matter what you go up against. Unless you haven't seen anything and you don't know how to block it, it's definitely going to help you out with um, going up against it, making sure that you understand that there is different ways to go about it. Like see here, if you know a blitz is coming here, boom, hit that easy route, make sure you get the ball off. And also, if you want to bring everybody out and go to do that, do that if you want to. Or if you want, slide protect to the left, block the running back. Running back's going out to that right side, so now you can kind of roll out to kind of make something happen. And you guys can see, that was them blitzing like seven, and I was able to block them block with the running back wait for the running back to get the block and then i can run on out and i could make a rollout pass that's kind of why rollout is a big thing because rollout kind of neglects those blitzes and things of that nature so boom i go ahead and block again slide out to the left i'll stand up in the pocket wait for him to get him and then i can roll out and now i can get out there to get some extra yardage but just like that now you guys kind of have a better knowledge of how to be better in the pocket you can always blitz others you can always motion blit, uh motion block so kind of do it just like well not actually with him um you can kind of actually help out with this too just in case like you need to help roll out to get extra yardage there like bring a route up make sure they go and use that and you got something underneath but one thing here with mitchell motion him over and then hike it and you guys can see he kind of helps out with um what you call it with blocking because of that motion blocking but it does take away one of your routes so that's another thing that you can do another thing is make sure you hit those quick passes make sure you hit the right ones too but don't be too predictable in the uh, defense can instantly just go to that um and that's basically it boom roll out see what you can do here if you got the running back make sure you hit him and don't wait so long for him and then 
you basically, you're basically it. Boom, they want to blitz. Go ahead and hit it towards the outside. Go ahead and make a move. You guys can see we turn nothing into something. But if you guys like that, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like. Comment down below some other stuff you guys like to see and help you guys actually not just get better in Madden, but also for NCAA. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, folks, peace out.